Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And this time, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now, every episode up to this point, with the exception of when we were doing some of the maintenance missions, I've been pretty much on the boat. And I think in this one, we're going to check out this one other spawn point. It's called Tori no Koto. It's the only one that that you can visit on the island aside from Green Harbor which is where the boats come off from we're gonna check this out because honestly I've only fished here like once and supposedly if you look at this it says that you can catch green jokefish here which is one of the things I'm trying to get John Trevally and Japanese Amberjack so kinda like to see just exactly what can be caught here so we might do some bottom fishing and some spin casting we can put out the, well, up to four rods there. So let's go ahead and jump over here and see what we can do here. Yeah, I did come here and caught some of the, I think it was Japanese mackerel while I was here. But I think this is like a drop-off point. I think it's like really deep. Let's go ahead and get our bottom rod, bottom, well, a rod pod, I guess what you want to call it. And let's see what we can actually catch here. Now, like I said, the joke fish are supposedly caught here. So I am going to throw this out. I'm going to see just how deep it gets. Kind of curious. Let's see here. This should tell us something. That's pretty deep. It's not super deep. Let's throw this one out too. Let me throw this one a different direction. Since I can't scan the bottom, I can't tell where the holes are, so... Now, the fish don't have to be too deep, apparently. I do believe I have some other bottom rods here. Yeah, I've got this one with the Japanese anchovy. Let me see, what could I go... Let's see, Japanese anchovy, striped bandito, Japanese amberjack, green jokefish, so they go for that too. Broad hook, that's standard. I'm going to throw this one out even further because it casts further. Now I just hope I don't get anything too big. This is not a sea rod, so... 298 feet, that's a pretty good cast. Let's see, we're down about... Yeah, we can't lift it off the bottom, though, but we are increasing our chances. I might just have the three bottom rods. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a float fishing, but I've got a waggler on this, so that might help a little bit. Since it's not very deep... We'll put that one out there too. Broad hook fish strips. It's supposed to be what they go for, and hey, they've been pretty much going for that, so. We also can use our casting rod too. Let me see what I got on here. I've got a trolling octopus, probably don't want that on there. Might try a pilker. I've not tried the... I don't know about the bucktails. I thought those were pretty much for trolling. There's a trophy trolling octopus. Not tried. Hmm.
We also have these plugs. Yeah, I've got a lot of good stuff here, honestly. Let me see here. We've got... We try the double hill hook pilker. That's been pretty good. So is this... We've got two of these. Trophy double hook pilker and trophy single hook pilker. Let's try this one because... Like I said, supposedly there are job fish here. I don't know for... 100% certain they are. We'll give it a try. All right, finally. I was starting to wonder. Got one on this one here, and it doesn't look like, like it's going to be that big, but there are lots of things jumping out further. Okay, this should be a hot spot for medium sized fish. Let's see what we got here. I think it's something smaller, though, like I said. Yep, trophy Japanese Jack Mackerel. Yeah, that's pretty much what I caught here before. Might put something on here a little more enticing for these guys. Let's see. Uh, I have tried... I have never tried that with a giant trebole, but I don't think I want to put that on there, to be honest. Let's try the medium fish strips and see if that doesn't do anything. There's supposed to be a lot of different things that go for this. Yeah, I was expecting a little more action than this. Darn sure. It's been seriously quiet. Yeah, I've got a got a mix of things here, and nothing really seems all that interested in it. Contemplating getting on the boat and coming over here, maybe taking a look around. See, I've got a buoy out there, so I can get close to it, but maybe. using the boat to kind of see what the heck's out there. Yeah, let's get... Yep, gotta be on the boat. That's what I thought. Alright, let's go back here. Get on our boat. And travel over to this buoy. Now see, look, there's all kinds of fish here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I'm going to head over to that spot and see just what we've got going around there. Yeah, I might have been throwing it in the wrong location. Yeah, I'm seeing... I think it's... This is a good spot, it's just... 
Okay, yeah. Look at look at them. There's nothing close by right now. This part of the ocean's pretty dead. You have to get much further out. Maybe it was just the wrong time of day. Yep, there's a fishing spot. There is nothing down there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got something here. Okay, we've got something. But it's out further. Yeah, look at this. There's a high concentration of bottom dwellers and other fish of all sizes right here. Yeah, I don't think I could cast that far out. Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's get out the same rods we had. Let's put them down to the bottom. Let's see, it's considerably deeper here too. Yeah, the other one was about 30 feet. Plus it hit bottom. Alright, let's try large fish strips I'm seeing some big fish down there. Now, if we get something to bite, I am going to mark it. And psh, there it goes. Come on. Oh yeah, he's got it. Let's see what we got here, because I'm going to mark this as soon as it does. Japanese Amberjack. Let me go ahead and mark that. Yeah, that... I just can't cast that far out from over there. That is kind of problematic. Well, the Japanese Amberjack definitely went for it. Let's see what we got. Which one is it? Same one? Nope, different one. Oh, both of them. My god, this is a good spot. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. Definitely a Japanese Amberjack spot. Let's see, this is a little smaller. It is... Trophy... <laughs> Big fin re squid. Yeah, let's 
Let's switch this up a little bit here. Put a four out hook on here, and this time. Let's see if we can't get the Joe fish. Maybe they're here too. Wow, that was fast. Okay, this is bigger than a job fish. <laughs> yep, giant trevally. Well, we definitely found them. They're just you get you just can't reach them from over there. He's not with the gear we have. Maybe maybe we need a more even more advanced gear. To get to them? I don't know. All I know is it barely got down there before they were biting. There we go again. Wow, this is a good spot, guys. This is a really good spot. For a number of things. This is not a job fish. I'm gonna put this down for just a minute and see if this is something different. Nope, it's big too. Let's see what it is. Trophy Japanese amberjack. Man, we lost that one. Well, we couldn't get them both. That's all right. Yeah, there is a problem with that spot. We're just going to have to use the boat in order to get near there. We can't fish off of shore. You can't get close enough to it. They're just not close enough to shore at this point. I am going to, if it gets to nighttime, I think I'm going to push the boat closer and see if they move a little bit. Very big, whatever it is. Giant Trevally. That's big enough. 31 pounds. So, Giant Trevally and Japanese Amberjack right here. Yeah, we could grind these guys pretty darn quick. Okay, that, that's definitely got one. And there we go. There's our green job fish. They are all here, just like it said. Problem is... Getting over here to it from there. Yeah, he's not real big, but common size. This is what I want to get. I still need to get a unique one of these guys. I mean, he's not huge or anything, but... They are definitely here. I'm going to put another marker there. I know it's going to have one right next to it, but that's going to make it easier to see from shore. I am going to go over there and just see if there is a way to cast out this far. Lots of experimentation. you got to see what the heck's going on, how fish move. Stuff like that. Uh, 
Come on. Be great. I think we got us a big friend reef squid or something. No, nope, another green joke fish. You know, it could be just if we keep at it. Now, what have I got on the other one? I think I got the same type of thing. Alright guys, I think we might be coming out of the peak here. It's slowing down considerably. It's not that much out of the peak, but... Let me take a look at the radar here. Yeah, it seems like the fish are moving a little bit. They were in higher concentration out of this boat earlier. Looks like they're actually, well, this one's definitely got it, but looks like they're moving a little bit further out of, towards that spot, honestly. Let's see what we got here. I think this might be another giant trevally. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's move the boat a little bit. some fish down there, but looks like they're moving more to the north of me. Let's move the boat just a little bit here. Trying to see if we can't get to where they actually are. I think I am going to go ahead and fast forward time and see if anything is, looks different. Night peak. Yep, we definitely have the fish back again. Getting them closer, that's for sure. So I think what it was, guys, we were fishing at the wrong time. We're going to stop right about here. Look at them all. Let's try throwing this out. Yeah, this isn't as deep either. Yeah, we were close to that rock before, so... This is more like where the... Fishing spot was. Well, let's... Yeah, see, there's some the markers way over there. See if we can catch something here, maybe put some more markers out. There we go, yep, we've got activity. And let's see what it is here. We've got you know barred mackerel. That's new. Let's 
see what this one is. Janet Trevally. Man, we are getting a lot of bites here. Yeah, I think we were just trophy Japanese Amberjack. I think we were just fishing at the wrong time, guys. Well, let me go ahead and mark that. Let me go ahead and mark that. Yep, definitely the Japanese Amberjack are here. Yeah, we're not getting the job fish though. The job fish seem to bite more in daytime. At least that seems to be the case. go. There's another one. Okay, he's... He's a little bit bigger. Let's see what he is. Probably another Japanese Amberjack. Nope. Giant Trevally. Okay, this one's going nuts now. This is with the Japanese Flying Squid. Yeah, this could literally be anything. A lot of things go for this bait. Good thing is, there's really nothing so big that I can't get it out of here. I may have to work a little harder, but... It's another the giant Trevally. Yep. Good size one, 52 pounder. Not bad. Let me go ahead and mark that too. I'm just trying to get a good idea where these guys are. Did that mark? Yeah, it did. Okay. Alright, what I want to do now... Well, wait a minute. We're not done yet. Trophy Giant Trevally. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's a good size foe. to do here real quick. I wanted to go wait a minute. Actually that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back out to the map. And see just how far off that is. I can see them. All right. Well, I'm not. <laughs> okay. So 
that's where we were getting. Now we can actually see where they are. Alright, that helps. Now let's put this... Now let's put this down. And let's see how close we can get to this spot. I think we may have it here, guys. This one's going to have a little bit more trouble. I can't get as much casting distance, but it may still be alright. But yeah, it may a lot. A lot of this may be just the gear. Nope. <laughs> we are getting bites. Oh, too early. Yeah, I got it. Let's put the large fish on there and a four odd hook on there. This might actually be able to reach it. Let's see. Yeah, it is. There we go. And we finally got our biggest fish here. We just had to come up with a methodology for locating them. There we go. Giant Trevally from the shore. Now we need to get this one. Ooh, boy. This is a big fella. Like I said, this should be able to handle anything off the shore, but I might have to work for it with this one. Yeah, I'm sure it's not a job fish. It's probably a giant trevally or Japanese amberjack. That's pretty much what I've been getting here. I did get that one... Narrow macro, narrow barred macro. This guy doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> you haven't put up quite the fight here at the end there. Alright, we got him. Yeah, it is a giant trevally. Decent one. That's great. That is really good. That means that we can finally find a place to fish for these guys offshore. Okay, this could be a job fish, guys. It's not huge. Could be a Japanese amberjack, but I'm hoping. Yes, green jobfish from the shore. That's what I was hoping to be able to pull off. So we were able to get pretty much everything they said from shore. Once you know where they are and what time, it's nighttime. 
That's the trick. Gotta fish for them at night. Let me go ahead and mark that one too. Just I wanna have a yep. Green Joe fish marker right there. Yeah, I think this one just isn't able to cast out far enough to get in the hot spot. Even with the Trophy Pyramid Sinker, it just doesn't get the distance it needs. I'm going to try casting it this direction. Because I was throwing it over to the left, that marker on the left side. I'm not so sure it's going to get their attention. Oop. Put that right there. Okay. Well, that's how we do it from this shore, guys. We figured it out. Now, there might be other people who are using different techniques, but that's what seems to be working for me. Hoping to get one more before this finishes out. Yeah, the, they're not going for the pilkers here. Unless I'm using the wrong kind. And that is possible. This could be another job fish, guys. I hope so. I'd like to get one more at least. Oh, nice! We got our trophy. We got us a trophy. Trophy green job fish from the shore. Got it at night. I can't get, for some reason I can't get the thing to go down. <laughs> there he is. Got him from the shore, guys. Wasn't sure that could even be done, but we did it. Still cannot find that silly and unique. I swear, I'm starting to wonder if they exist, but I think, given enough tries, we might eventually get him here. Now we got another one here. Let's see what it is. I think it might be another joke fish, guys. Yep, they're definitely... Once you got the right spot, they're easy to catch. But it's got to be right on the money there. This one just can't seem to get the distance. Close.
There we go. Uh, we got something. I don't know that it's a joke fish, but... Oh, it's a green joke fish. We got one off of that one, too. Awesome. Well, this is definitely the time for him, guys. Okay, this is not a joke fish. <laughs> too strong. Way too strong. Probably a giant trevally. Yeah, because this one didn't have that much trouble bringing in a trophy, so... Well, let's see. It, I got lucky and finally got a unique. I doubt that's what it is, though. Yep, it's a Japanese Amberjack. Yeah, and it was a little too strong. Alright, we got him. Come on, let's see what you are. Oh, you're big. You're really big. And when it rains, it pours. Giant Trevally. I think we're going to have to call this quits after this, guys. But this is... This is a decent-sized fish, whatever it is. Probably Japanese Amberjack, judging from the way it's fighting. Not a Joe fish. Joe fish just do not fight that hard. Yep, giant trevally. Well, we're probably coming out of the peak now anyway. Yeah, we are. I think our shot of getting a unique was probably very beginning of the night. But we did get a trophy, and that... That was a success, guys, I think. Yeah, we're definitely going to try coming back here again, see if we can't get ourselves a unique job fish. Still having a little trouble finding the skipjack and the mahi-mahi. I don't know what the heck's going on. I found the mahi-mahi easily when I was doing the maintenance missions, and now they've just been really elusive. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.